Welcome everyone! This is a Nintendo DS game known as The Nameless Game. Currently we are playing it through emulation, but I made sure before I did this that I actually own the game legitimately. This game is a horror game that unfortunately never saw an English release, but some fans did actually make an English version, which is what we're looking at here. It was published in 2008 by Square Enix. It has a sequel, which unfortunately at this time does not have an English translation. Nor have I bought it, so I would not be playing it anyways. However though, I am planning to buy it in the future. We're going to start with a new game. I'm going to make sure all the audio levels are good with you guys. I should, I'll should i keep it there, but this might be a little bit loud. Let's just go to new game. Is it is it not enter? Is it select? Do I click it like a Nintendo DS game? Yes, I do. About 3D sound. This game features 3D sound. Headphones are recommended in order to experience the intended atmosphere of horror. I'll go with that. Touch the sun icon on the touch screen to adjust the brightness and the desired settings, then touch the X icon to continue. You can also adjust the screen brightness during the game. 3D sound, how does it work? Well, you see, you bring sound to the next dimension! Okay, so this is how we adjust brightness. Oh my good! <laughs> that makes a fun noise. I like it dark, though. The shadows look a lot different depending on that. I don't know, I like it being nice and dark like that, but maybe one sun is good. I don't know, it doesn't really look too dark to me. You guys think I sh do you guys think it should be one uh, zero sun, one sun, two sun, or three sun? To repeat that, zero sun, one sun, two sun, three sun. Okay, we're going with one sun apparently. Uh, am I supposed to click this now? Select a gender, uh, male or female, am I a guy or a girl? I don't know, I can't check or anything, so I guess you guys have to tell me that one. You guys always want me to be a girl. What is up with you guys and gender bending me? Okay, female. I guess we have to move that over and select it manually. Do I press the A button? Yes. Enter your name. Well, it's the same name it will always be whenever I play these things. The magic of... As... Oh, wait. That won't work. Oh no, oh no. Alright, what will I call myself then? Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Rai Rai. We good. Is it, is it, is it sideways? What? How, how, how do the work? Uh... Uh, I'm going to stand up and turn my head sideways. The game industry has been rocked by the introduction, uh, introduction of a new handheld system, the Twin Screen, more commonly known as the TS. This is a revolutionary system in a hit of unprecedented proportions. Thanks to the TS, many people now often carry their handhelds with them wherever they go. There are even TS stations where people gather to download demos and play online. How am I supposed to do this? How, how, how does this work? Still, though... Okay. Uh, how how do I turn the screen so <laughs> it's up straight? Uh, lay on your bed. I don't know, I'm just, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how I can get this to work. I bet there's a way through emulation. Turn it over. Let's see if it stays like this though. However, there is a dark side to this TS's metric rise. When I edit this video, I'm going to have to probably... Hey, everyone! See, this has fewer interactions than the less, uh, live stream people. I'm going to fix this whenever I upload this to YouTube. But live stream people, everyone just stand up and turn your head sideways for the best experience of this live stream. Oh, that's so stupid. Have you heard about that game? The one where if you look, where if you play it and die a week later? Yeah, right. That's just another urban legend you hear them a lot these days. You know, like the one where a woman abandons her unwanted baby in a locker at the station and he grows up and gets revenge on her? Hey, that could have happened. Uh, I need to figure out how to make this actually work. Emulation, how do you that work? Wait, 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 rotation! Holy fuck, they thought of it! They th Oh, that's upside down, though. That is upside down. Uh, they think of everything these days. Uh, 720. There we go. There we go. So the screen resolution is about to change. They think of everything these days. Technology, you're so cool. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna take him. No borders, okay. And we were just reading this, let's just see. I wish there was a game, there was a game that could kill people after a week. I'd give it to my useless boy. Wow! You are a douche! 
Ha ha ha, you're just too much. That's hilarious that you would kill your boyfriend with a video game. That's just how funny. Anyways, though. He's gonna be a bit loud there. Nanto University, introduction to transdomanial inform or informati or informatics, I guess. Next, I'd like to discuss the current state of online information distribution. I'll start off with an example that I'm sure you all be familiar with. The handheld game systems that are so popular these days. Now, here's something that's really important when we're playing this game. Uh, first of all, keep in mind that handhelds are much more popular in Japan than they are in America. So, like, handheld gaming in Japan is more popular than console gaming, even. So keep that in mind. Uh, second of all, keep in mind that since this is a Japanese game, things are reading from right to left. That's why the right screen goes first, then the left screen. One of the best features of these systems is the wireless distribution of games via networks. Hey, look, they're teaching us about the same thing we should be doing. That's a lot of beeping. Uh, download complete. And now it's up front again. Oh, okay, we're going to have to emulate our way sideways again. Okay, let's see. We have uh, what looks to be a regular Nintendo DS menu. Somewhat modified, though. Can I load my save file? Oh, I loaded. Oh, I got no file data. Cancel that. It's kind of cool that they base this off the Nintendo DS menu, though. Email? Uh, select, uh, no one emails me. I'm so unpopular. Uh, suspend? I guess I'll click this. Seven days left, except it looks all graphically glitchy. New game? Sure, I'll play your new game. I'll focus on this screen while it's only doing this. And here we find ourselves in the land of much lustness. Uh, we're gonna be running through this. There's some graphical glitches going on with the game, but that's okay. Welcome, traveler, to the town of Varuna. I guess the town of Varuna is just where they live? Is there any... Anyways, though, uh, I bet... Have you guys figured out what this game is about yet, by the way? Or are you guys still in the not know-how of what this game is actually about? Let's see. Hold the B button to run! That does a run button. Let's do this. Our town is blessed to have all this water. Yes, you are. Today is the day of Runa's annual festival. Okay, welcome back. Two people are just coming back and in. Let's see. Most people come all the way here just to try our water. You too, I suppose. Welcome, welcome. Here for the festival, I make so much money at this time of year. Uh, to people who don't know what this game is about, semi-spoiler, well not really a spoiler because we're probably going to learn about this pretty quickly, but this game is about a cursed game. So yeah. Excuse me, madam. Graphical glitches are kind of interesting. I came here because I heard the water can... Cure illness. It's true. I'm all better. Cool. Nothing there. So we're gonna run this way outside the inn as soon as this lady gets out of our freaking way. Seriously, she's being a huge blockage there. Nothing in the well. Every year, the people of Aruna offer up an F an F an, an effigy to the holy fountain in order to keep the water flowing. Because you know, apparently, if they stopped praying and make all the water in the world stop. Because sense that makes. Alright. Everyone gets to stay up late for the festival. That's the custom around here. Let's go over this way. Probably those gate guards will let us in. The offering ceremony is to be held tonight. Under the full moon. Entry is forbidden until tonight. Oh, now we're going back to back to sideways world. This is going to be a fun live stream and editing process, I can already tell. Rai Rai, I, I, I skipped that, I guess this is Rico Nagaswa, 19, second year history major at Nanto University. Who wants to bet she's her best friend? I bet she's her best friend. 
Ah, go drink a water. Hey, I know that game. I'm playing it too. Odaka sent it to me maybe six days ago. I think it was six, but anyway. So I heard, apparently, that game, it's cursed. And if you play it, you die a week later. Wow, you're white as a sheet. Come on, as I said. Also, why, why, I mean, she sounded so happy that her friend gave her a game a second ago, and then you reveal that it's a game that's supposed to kill people. Well, that's cool. Come on, don't be so gullible. It's just one of, it's just a rumor, one of those urban legends. You've really never heard it before? Speaking of Odaka, the idiot hasn't been at class lately. He's been at home all week playing that game. Well, come on. I just told you about a game that'll kill you a week after you start playing it. And now my friend who gave me the game's been missing for a week. No connection. Anyone would think he wasn't, he wasn't low on course credits. And then he had this fight when I asked him if he loved his game more than me. Listen, Rai Rai, I'm sorry to put you on the spot, but could you bring them here? He is a third year, so he can't afford to miss any more class. Why don't you go after him? Honestly speaking, why doesn't she go after him? Anyways, though, I'd go myself, but things are... Okay, now I'll explain. But things are tense after that fight. I'll cover for you next class, okay? Come on, you're my best friend. You know, you're a terrible girlfriend. If you have a fight with uh, one of your, like, boyfriend-girlfriend, you don't just run away and like, get your friend to fetch them. Honestly speaking, that is a terrible, terrible excuse. You need to live it up if you guys are going to have this weird disconnection of each other. This is, this is probably not a very healthy relationship for either of you guys. Wait, he might be sleeping. Don't you go taking advantage of my boyfriend. I'll never forgive you. Ha ha. You'd laugh, but your face is a laugh of pure evil if I do such. All right. I'm only joking. Here's the spare keys to his flat. He lives in flat 904, fan mill tension building. Thanks! Touch the center of the screen to move forward. You will keep moving as long as you hold the stylus down. You can also press up on the control pad to move forward. Okay, this is kind of weird. I can only move forward. I can't move any other direction. How, how do I look around? Is there a way to turn? No, there's not. Uh, touch the edges of the screen to turn. There we go. Pressing left or right on the control pad also works. The university entrance gate is, your le is to your left. I'm gonna... Oh, look. There we go. This is, this is gonna get some game used to. Let's see, uh, there's a gate, except it's locked or something. Where did I come from? An elevator, of course. So I guess we're going this way. I have to get used to these controls. The world is all weird. What is the weird screen for? This is because this is a DS game, so there'd be a barrier there. Touch the center of the screen while holding up on the control pad to run forwards. Touching the edges of the screen while holding left or right, turn quickly. There's a run option. That's walk, that's run. Alright, got it. Hold down the uh, control pad to move backwards while facing forwards. You can already tell this video is going to have to do a lot of editing whenever I upload this to YouTube. Press select to display the TS menu. In the TS menu, you can read your email, save the game, and more. You can move to reverse. Let's see. Oh, can I go inside that door right now? Let's go over there. Oh, wait. How do you get your menu? I, I was kind of ignoring what they were saying. When I think about it, I probably shouldn't have been ignoring what they were saying because that's very important information. What was the important... Was it select? Yes, it was. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to keep on dealing with this, aren't we? For live streaming and for this. Well, that's okay. It's interesting so far. I'll say that. Email. Let's see. Hey, look. We now have three emails. Student. And are they all? The, they're the same email over and over and over again. Okay. 
no, no, we'll start with this one. Walk, touch, I just read that. Uh, turn up brightness. Using the TS menu, suspended the game and returned the tile screen. Okay, wait, you just made me fucking emails. Can I play this game? Yes, you can play the game whenever you want. Maybe not whenever I want, because apparently nothing's going on in the game. That's weird. This is going to be a very strange process, I can already tell. Not like already tell, because we're already doing it. We're not rage quitting, I actually like this game. So, let's see, can I enter inside this door, maybe? Because I'll have to find out. Maybe I press a key to open the doorknob? Doorknob not available in your country. I'm going to say let's go over this way, then. I guess I'm trying to read this. How do you read stuff in this? Do I press a button? Apparently not. I don't read. What are you guys talking about? So I guess all we can do right now is go over here. And look for a key. Is that what we're trying to do? Running towards the gate. Run towards the gate. It does have a slot open. Some doors can be opened by touching them. There we go. You guys are right. Touch the university gate to exit the university. Touching. Touching best I can. Do I, like, tap it? Yes, I do. There we go. I figured out magic. Odica's flat. Familiar tension. Yes, miss. I did exit outside of an elevator. Thank you very much. Uh, Odeka lives alone in this place like this. He must be rich if he can afford not to have housemates. And we're already playing the game again. Odeka, are you there? No, that's not his house. There you go. There's a t quick turn way. That's not his house either. Let me go over this way then. Uh, work. Work my magic. I will eventually run into a door that can open. Probably further in, though. Is this your house, Tadaka? No, it says Kui, some Kuichi name on it. I bet it's gonna be like the really fancy door, isn't it? That's not it. Alright, where, oh, where do you live, uh, boyfriend of my friend? Do you live inside the garbage? Is that why she's ashamed of you? I mean, what? Hmm. Was it a door I missed? It said Odaka? Did it say Odaka on this one? Let me look. You're right, it does indeed say Odaka. So yes, it's the only, of course it'd be the house that looks the most important. Maybe I'm just supposed to interact with this. There we go. Ring his doorbell. Gain nothing. Odakam coming in. Still getting used to how this game system works. Oh. The door is locked from the inside. Odaka, it's Rai Rai. Rika sent me. Open the door, please. Open the door. Oh. Hmm. Now what? Oh, it's opened. Oh, Odaka, you really need to keep your place in check. Or else creepy things start coming in your house like so. Hmm, I guess we're going this way. What is that? Oh, the guy didn't know you turned to a little girl and grew long hair. Ah, the things you guys do when you leave a person alone for a few days. Okay, let's go over here. The door is locked. Well, that's okay. Let's go on ahead, I guess. Even though I want to look at this, but apparently they won't let me. It looks like there's a shiny behind it. Ah, snap, son. Can I turn on the lights? Let's try turning on the lights. That's not doing me any good. Alright, we'll try this door. 